Oh! Sorry to interrupt you and your food, but everyone wants to see you. I'm literally gonna cut this bag open and drop it all in right now, and you'll see just how aggressive. Wow! Oh! 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 Holy moly! I've never seen the conditions like this before. It's gonna be rough. I see the rock. Whew. Oh! I got a fish. Such a cool fish, though. Look at the. Oh. You almost dropped the camera. <laughs> oh! They're over here again. I think that's a dead fish. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. Today is action-packed, to say the very least. I love my tide pool videos, and that is exactly what we're doing today. But first, we gotta do a couple things around the farm, and not only that, we have a sponsor that helped make today's video possible. Right after that, we'll get to it. NFL fans, the season is starting to heat up with bigger plays and even bigger wins. And today's video is sponsored by DraftKings, an official partner of the NFL. And I'm here to share an exciting new offer just for you. New customers bet just $5, that is $5, and they'll immediately get $200 in bonus bets. Plus, no sweat bets up to $150 in bonus bets if your NFL bets lose. That's right, just bet $5 and you'll instantly get $200 in bonus bets, plus a no sweat bet up to $150 total in bonus bets if your NFL bet loses. Sign up right now using my promo code, Paul Cafaro. Now, whether you're just a Saturday college football Football fan or die hard for the NFL, DraftKings has betting options for you. DraftKings customers can also get their skin in the game with the same game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. Now go down below, click that link, and download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use my promo code Paul Cafaro. Bet just $5, you'll immediately get $200 in bonus bets, plus no sweat bets, up to $150 total in bonus bets if your NFL bet loses. That is promo code Paul Cafaro only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The link is down below. Click it. Thank you so much, DraftKings sponsoring today's video let's get back to it oh, oh, oh. we got a box at my front door that says live fish you can see down at the bottom our little tiny platies that we got last video this pond is so clear look at how clear it is I gotta get the right extension cord to go all the way to there and I don't want it to get wet so we're waiting on that but that'll get all this muck off the bottom at some point when I do do that. Ugh, but we got a package. Live fish, it says. Look at all of our monsters. Oh, yeah. This water is so clear. Big old Beast Junior. We got the koi fish. Of course, these guys will be in the front pond very, very soon, which is going to be amazing. As you can see, look how big Beast is now. It's nuts. Bro, you're getting so big, dude. You're getting so big, you can almost eat that. No, that's pretty good Jaguar. That's pretty big size. Peacock in the back over there. He's gonna munch on these new things that we've got. Before we get today's video started, we gotta obviously unbox this and do what we gotta do with this. But I didn't even order this. A friend of mine, Matt, did. He wanted to uh, support the channel a little bit and he goes, what can I help you with? And I said, man, you don't gotta buy me anything. But if you do, I can always do some extra fish food. So he bought a bunch of this. This is packaged well. It's a good thing that all this is packaged well because when PC Aquatics starts selling fish, guess who's packing and shipping? Predatory fins. So you guys will obviously have a live arrival guarantee when my website does drop. It's looking like PC Aquatics is gonna drop the beginning of the second week of October. So I'm not exactly sure on the dates of that. I will get an exact drop date soon. Wow, that's a lot of fish. But yes, I am gonna be dropping PC Aquatics very, very soon. A bunch of silver sides. So it's a great switch up for their diet. I'm literally gonna cut this bag open and drop it all in right now and you'll see just how aggressive. Good way to start off the video. Eat up everyone. Arowana got one. As you can see, catfish. Everyone is eating. I feel like a lot of the fish were just like, what in the heck? Well, we've already got a lot of fish and feed in here. And thanks to Matt, we can add a bunch of silver sides to the feed. It's crazy, because all this is literally like, probably a week and a half worth. You know what you would never expect? Cornelius, which we're gonna feed him real quick, is the most expensive animal to feed here at the farm. I need to find a better rat hookup, that's probably why, but I get them from the pet store, and it is like $120 for this row of rats. Granted, there's four in each box, but could you imagine that? Cornelius, a rescued American bullfrog from an Asian food market, is the most expensive animal 
to feed here at the farm. He eats good though, I can say that. He does eat good, like literally once a day. All right, let's see if Cornelius wants to come out. Cornelius. Oh my gosh. Oh! He got it. Sorry to interrupt you and your food, but everyone wants to see you. And the only way to see you is put a like, because you live in that dungeon. I don't want to bother him while he's eating, but that's Cornelius. That is the update. I saw a lot of comments. Y'all love Cornelius. Check out the monos when they eat. They go nuts. They come right up to the surface and swerve and eat like crazy. They're like little piranhas. See him come up to that little piece. Boom. 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 I'll tell you what though, ever since I got that UV in here, look at the difference in quality. I know it was crystal clear before, but like look at the pond now. This is insane how clear it is. It's almost, doesn't even look like there's water in this pond. I mean, is that not just crazy? 100% the coolest thing we have ever built is this saltwater pond right here. I don't think I'm ever gonna build any projects differently. That just came out so good. We are here at Coral Cove, our favorite spot to go tide pool hunting. I looked at the conditions, it was perfect. It's a bit overcast right now. Look at the storm rolling in. That way is nice. That's Florida for you though. These two just proposed. We just watched the whole proposal go down. That's always nice. Congrats to them. I looked at the conditions. It's a full moon. The tides are super, super high, which means these tide pools are gonna be in perfect conditions to be holding some, whether it's invertebrates, you know, it's snails, crabs, fish. We find fish all the time. I was just here the other day with my buddy Nick, and we found a whole pod of sergeant majors inside one of these tide pools. So they've been lurking. This right now is the perfect time to come look because it's full. Brings all the water up. And as the water goes down at low tide, these fish get stuck in these tide pools. You can just see right here. Look at all the water in and out of these tide pools. See it rushing through? Check this out. See it pop up? Boom! And then it fills these up. And then once that tide lowers down, that water is just sitting in there. Right now it's still high tide, so there's probably going to be fish in and out of all these throughout this entire video of me filming. The water is rushing, rushing in right now. Seen baby sharks. Seen what? Baby sharks. You look too good for me to film right now. I, I can't film it. Look at that. Boom! Crushing through. Crazy. Holy moly, that water got high. Check out this new uh, condo. If you guys want to uh, get a unit here, it is only $13.5 million for one condominium. That's exactly where we're at. <sighs> look at these pockets of water. I mean, there's just so many. I got my little handy dandy net. This will be available on PC Aquatic Shot Shop soon. Oh my! All I'm saying is don't step down there. If you step down there, you're going straight to the ocean. Wow. Oh. 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 Holy moly. I've never seen the conditions like this before. It's going to be rough. We got some snails right here. Some perfect snails. You can take those home and put them in the aquarium. Well, I can <laughs> tell you what. I'm soaking wet just from going on a little hunt out there. The conditions are pretty rough today. Let's keep moving, we got a lot of rock to go through. Perfect tide pool here, look at that. Is that not so cool? Bro, I've never seen this beach like this before. What's the definition of a tide pool right there? Like actually insane. All right, I'm afraid to even step right here because it could go straight to the ocean. Oh my goodness. Go while you can, go. I see the rock. Whew. Oh, I got a fish. A fish right here. There's two. Look at the Sergeant Majors. Oh, look at them. Oh, 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 oh my God. All right, I got three fish. Oh, as of what I see, I'm gonna fall in the ocean. There is a grunt right here and I'm gonna catch you. Ah, he's not happy though. Come on, got him. I got a grunt. This right here is a grunt. My favorite thing about them is this really red mouth they have and their jaw drops pretty much straight down. Isn't that crazy? Such a cool fish though. Look at the, oh, you almost dropped the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. Go free buddy. Oh, they're over here again. I think it's easier to grab them with my hand to be honest. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, he's in the little hole. He got stuck in, the oh, got him. So these right here are Sergeant Majors. I plan to actually get these for the saltwater pond eventually. They turn to this darker color when they're stressed out. Typically they're this beautiful yellow and black. Sergeant Majors right there, I got two of them. 
We're gonna throw them back in the ocean. See ya, buddies. Wow. I don't think I've ever gotten this wet doing a tide pool video. So we have already explored from there all the way to here and we ended up finding some fish right here where Taylor's at. Over here though, we haven't explored any of this right here and all down that way. So we probably still have a couple things to run into. Look at that fish right there. There's a fish, where'd it go? Where the heck did it go? Oh my gosh, oh there he is, look, 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 look. Right there, you see him? That is a, that's another grunt. He's too deep for me to get. Way too deep for me to get. I'm trying to find some more. We're in the deeper section now. It's a little bit harder because as you can see, these fish are just rushing in and out with the tide. But for the most part, this looks pretty fishy if you ask me. Like how is there not a fish right there, dude? Looks so good. Oh look, I think that's a dead fish. I think that's a dead fish. Babe, this looks like a pinfish, which is typically something you don't see here. I don't know if it's alive. We're gonna give it a go. Oh, it's fins moving. It's alive. Oh yeah, it's alive. It's definitely alive, but it's way deep in that hole. I gotta get it out. And it keeps swimming deeper. It keeps swimming deeper. Let me get you, bud. Oh, oh. What is it? A pinfish, which is like really, really good bait. Look at that beautiful fish though. And they have these spikes that come up. See that? Now these are good bait. These are great snook bait, great tarpon bait. This is a really good bait to fish with if you're fishing. Today, this pinfish not only got saved out of this literal hole right here, look. See how the water stops right here? Yep. He can't get out, he's stuck in there. Unless the tide got high enough or he made a sacrifice jump, this guy would have been done. Look at that beautiful fish though. I gotta take this guy back home to the depths of the ocean. Oh my gosh, he likes to jump. I caught him that time. See you later, bud. We just found another culprit. Dude, this is crazy. He does not look good either. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's chilling. I have no idea what kind of fish this is. You guys are gonna have to tell me. Gosh, they get stuck. They get stuck up in the hole. I'm not sure what kind of snapper that is. But he's not happy to see me. I'm saving you, dude. I'm saving you, I swear. Comment down below if you do know what that is, though. Just like that, the pinfish and then a snapper. Back to back. Boom, boom. Oh, goodness. See ya, bud. Looks like to the left of me here, fellas, we have some friendly competition. Take a look. They're trying to steal my fish? Come, what is this? No, I'm just kidding. They're probably tourists, but hey, this is the perfect place to be as a tourist. I would come here, look around for fish. If you take a close look, you'll see fish moving in and out. Let's see if we could find something real quick. All these little tiny birds are running the beach. This is the craziest conditions ever for tide pooling. I've never seen them like this ever in my life. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishies. You know what the most incredible part of this is? This is all just natural rock. I mean, this is mother nature at its finest. Every little bump and crevice is so beautiful. The water's low, come on, come on. Yes, oh, look at the crabs everywhere. Woo -hoo -hoo. I believe this is where we found some last time, right here. Look at that hole. There's a hole right there. Oh. Oh, you see that? What? That's crazy. Oh my goodness. I gotta get down from here somehow. And safety is all the way over there. Ah, rushing water. Do not attempt this. If you come here, don't do that. <laughs> what are you doing, Tay? Looking for shark teeth. Looking for shark teeth, eh? I've never found a shark tooth before. Really? I guess I just don't have very youthful eyes. Youthful, your eyes are bad? Yeah, bad eyes. Yeah, my, my eyes are horrible. What do you mean, you have 20-20 vision? <laughs> I have great eyesight, thank oh, gosh. Cool you. Found that. No shark teeth, but. Found that. Found that. Wow. This is just such prime tide pool searching right here. At its finest, little gobies. Now on video, it's hard to get like the little crabs that you see real quick and run away and, and the gobies that you see that just dart right when you see them. But if you're in person, you will notice a lot more micro things that will just kind of dart so fast, you can't even get them on camera. This is a literal natural waterfall. Flows out of there, comes down, flows out of there, comes down and flows out of here. How pretty is that? Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please do smash the like button, 
Subscribe down below. Turn your bell on so you're notified every single time we upload here. One of these next videos is actually going to be getting something crazy for the saltwater pond. I mean, we could have brought it back a couple of the fish we caught for this, but then again, that's not exactly the species that we're totally looking for in this, just yet. This is a step-by-step -step process, to say the very least. This pond is just step-by-step-by-step -step -by -step gonna get better and better. It's an absolutely fantastic sign to see all four of the monos doing this well. I mean, they're eating like crazy. They're swimming around as if they're happier than ever. And if you remember the purpose of us purchasing those fish, literally the sole reason was to know whether we were ready for fish or not. Now seeing the anemones thriving, the sea urchin, uni is thriving, the mangroves doing good, the fish, and the most importantly, obviously the monos are doing good. If you look real closely down there, the hermit crab is fully out of his shell walking around. I mean, this pond is most definitely ready for some fish. Now I have a general idea. I saw a lot of comments on telling me what kind of fish we want to do for this pond. We've got an idea, somewhat of an idea, but what would you like to see first is my question. I have a couple ideas in my head that I want to do before others. That's most definitely a shark. I've always wanted a shark. It's going to happen, but I don't want to start with a shark. We definitely need to get a fish soon. I just don't exactly know what we're going to get yet. And I want you guys to comment down below what you think we should start off the pond with. The first real fish, not the monos, the first real one. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. One of my favorite things to do after I upload a video is to go through the comments and read all your comments. I try to get to as many as I can, but there's a lot. But in this video specifically, I'm going to go through the comment section and see what you guys are thinking for the saltwater pond. I also do believe my freshwater pond has a lot of fish. So these koi fish, like I mentioned, are moving to the front pond, which will free up like four or five bigger fish. As you can see, there's another koi. The Oscars, I wanna bring, maybe put them in the outside pond or something like that, and we could feed them out there. Bottom line is, I want to free up some room in here, not to get more fish. I believe this pond is perfect as is. I actually wanna take a little bit of the bio load out of here. There's a lot of fish in here. It's not too many fish, because this has been uh, probably almost a year now that these fish have been thriving in here But I would like to open up some free space allow the fish that are in here to be fed properly and enough Because I really want to grow my catfish Thump, the arowana all those fish will stay in here of course But for like the jaguar cichlid the Oscar and stuff like that I feel like we could put outside in the outdoor pond. I would show you the outdoor pond right now But it's uh, pretty nasty weather. You can just crack the window open and there it is. You can see the pond outside the window there. That's the pond that we can put them in. It's, it's literally right, right here. And that was just another thing I wanted to mention before I ended today's video. I think we're gonna be moving a little bit of fish out of there, free up some space. I have a really cool project in mind for this corner here. I'll give you a quick little that's all I'm gonna show you. Got a couple projects on that piece of paper. And that picture might not make any sense, but you know when things come together, they all end up making sense. We didn't know what this was gonna look like. A lot of you thought it was gonna fold over like a cardboard box. It's still standing. But I'd love to do something like that right here in this corner and uh, utilize the space we have in this building to make stuff like this. I could talk all day. I love talking to the camera, but that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts on everything. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.